pictures up here? Thank you. Good evening, and welcome to Easter Vigil Mass at St. Mary. As is custom, Mass will begin outside with the blessing of the new Easter fire. So we invite everyone to now come outside to the front steps of the church and bring your taper candles with you. You will be returning to the same spots that you have now after the procession begins back into church. Thank you. Wait a minute.
into it. Okay. Different from every other night. Why can on this night do we celebrate the meaning of light and darkness? This is the holiest night of the year. It is the night we keep vigil for the Lord. This is the night when Christians throughout the world assemble to keep watch for the Lord. It is the night they renew their faith in the resurrection. It is the night they sing out in joy. This is one of those nights during which our Jewish brothers and sisters gather to keep the ancient Passover and recall the marvel of God has worked for them. This is the night we start all over again with a new fire and new water. On this night, we go back to our beginning. We go back to the beginning of our world, to the beginning of our faith, to the beginning of our baptism. Listen as our new fire is blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial, of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, listening to his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. Let us pray. O oh God, who through your Son bestowed upon the faithful the fire of your glory, sanctify this new fire, we pray and grant that by the Paschal celebrations we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires that with minds made pure we may attain festivities of unending splendor through Christ our Lord. by his holy and glorious wounds. Guard us and protect us. Amen. May the light of Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. Did it go out?
the light of Christ. Thanks be to God. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. Exult, let them exult, the hosts of heaven. Exult, let angel ministers of God exult, let the trumpet of salvation sound. Allowed a mighty king's triumph. Be glad, let earth be glad as glory floods her. A blaze swift light from her eternal king. Let all corners of the earth be glad. No. Rejoice, <clears throat> let Mother Church also rejoice, arrayed with the lightning of his glory. 
Let this holy building shake with joy and filled with the mighty voices of the peoples. Therefore, dearest friends, standing in the awesome glory of this holy light, invoke with me, I ask you, the mercy of God Almighty. That he who has been pleased to number me, though unworthy, among the Levites, may pour into me his light unshadowed, that I may sing this candle's perfect praises. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly, truly right, and right and just with ardent love of mind and heart and with devoted service of our voice to acclaim our God invisible the Almighty Father. And Jesus Christ, our Lord, his Son, his only begotten, who for our sake paid Adam's debt to the Eternal Father, and pouring out his own blood, wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. This in are the feasts of Passover, in which is slain the Lamb, this one true Lamb, whose blood anoints the doorposts of believers. This is the night when once you led our forebears Israel's children from slavery in Egypt and made them pass dry shot through the Red Sea. This is the night that with a pillar of fire banished the darkness of sin. This is the night that even throughout the world set Christian believers apart from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin, leading them in grace and joining them in this holy ones. This, this the night when Christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld. Our birth would have been no gain had we not been redeemed. Oh, oh, oh wonder of your humble care for us, O oh, love, O oh, charity beyond all telling, to ransom a slave, you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessary sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. O oh, happy fault that earned so great, so glorious a Oh, truly blessed th that night, were thee alone to know the time and hour when Christ rose from the underworld. This is the night of which it is written, the night shall be bright as day, dazzling is the night for me, 
and full of gladness. The sanctifying power of this night dispels wickedness, washes faults away, restores innocence to the fallen, and joy to mourners, drives out hatred, fosters concord, and brings down the mighty. On this your night of grace, O Holy Father, accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of beasts and of your servants' hands, an evening sacrifice of praise, this gift from your most holy church. But now we know the praises of this pillar, which glowing fire ignites for God's honor. A fire into many flames divided, yet never dimmed by sharing of its light. For it is fed by melting wax, drawn out by mother beast to build a torch so precious. O oh, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth and divine to the human. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray you that this candle, hallowed to the honor of your name, may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasing fragrance, and let it mingle with the lights of heaven. May this flame be found still burning by the morning star, the one morning star who never sets. Christ, your Son, who coming back from death's domain, has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Sorry. Please extinguish your candles and place them on the floor. Dear brothers and sisters, we have begun our solemn vigil. Now let us listen with quiet hearts to the word of God and meditate on how God in times past saved his people and in these, the last days, has sent us his son as our redeemer. May God graciously complete this paschal work of salvation in us by granting us redemption. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless wasteland, and darkness covered the abyss, while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw how good the light was. God then separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Thus evening came, and morning followed the first day. 
Then let God be, said, Let there be a dome in the middle of the waters to separate one body of water from the other. And so it happened. God made the dome, and it separated the water above the dome from the water below it. God called the dome the sky. Evening came, and morning followed, the second day. Then God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered into a single basin so that the dry land may appear. And so it happened. The water under the sky was gathered into its basin, and the dry land appeared. God called the dry land the earth, and the basin of the water he called the sea. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth vegetation, every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seeds in it. And so it happened. The earth brought forth every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. God saw how good it was. Evening came, and morning followed. The third day, then God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate day from night. Let them mark the fixed times, the days and the years, and serve as luminaries in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth. And so it happened. God made the two great lights, the greater one to govern the day, and the lesser one to govern the night. And he made the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw how good it was. Evening came, and morning followed, the fourth day. Then God said, let the water teem with an abundance of living creatures, and on earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great sea monsters and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems, and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply and fill the water of the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed, the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things of the earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have a combination over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle and over all wild animals and all creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your foe. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. 
God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed, the sixth day. Thus, the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day, God was finished with the work he had been doing, he rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, may those who are redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Lism reigns forever and ever. Abraham. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him. Abraham. 
Then God said, Take your son Isaac, your only one whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall find all for him up as in Holocaust, on a height that I will point out to you. Early the next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey, took with him his son Isaac, and two of his servants as well. And with the wood that he had cut for the Holocaust, set out for the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham got sight of the place from afar. Then he said to his servants, Thereupon Abraham took the wood for the holocaust and laid it on his son Isaac's shoulders while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two walked on together, Isaac spoke to his father Abraham. Father, Isaac said. Yes, son, he replied. Isaac continued, here are the fire and the wood. But where is the sheep for the Holocaust? Son, Abraham answered, God himself will provide the sheep for the Holocaust. Then the two continued going forward. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Next, he tied up his son Isaac and put him on top of the wood on the altar. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Abraham named the site Yahweh Yira. Hence, people now say, on the mountain, the Lord will see. And again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. I 
Let us pray. O oh God, Supreme Father of the faithful, who increased the children of your promise by pouring out the grace of adoption throughout the whole world, and who make, through the Paschal mystery, make your servant Abraham, father of nations, at once you swore. Grant we pray that your peoples may enter worthily into the grace to which you call them. Through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward, and you lift up your staff and without hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the Israelites may pass through it on a dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and his charioteers. The angel of God, who had been leading Israel's camp, now moved and went around behind them the column of cloud also, leaving the front, took up its place behind them so that it came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of Israel. But the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed without the rival camps coming any closer together all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night, and so turned it into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the Israelites marched into the midst of the sea, 
on dry land, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them, right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch, just before dawn, the Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud upon the Egyptian force a glance that threw it into a panic, and he so clogged their chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel, because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head on toward the sea when the Lord hurled them into its midst. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped. But the Israelites had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in him and in his servant, Moses. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will, I will sing, sing to, to the, the Lord, Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. O oh God, whose ancient wonders remain undimmed in splendor even in our day, for what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of your right hand, now you'll bring about as the salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth, grant we pray that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's birthright. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Hear, O Israel, the commandments of life. Listen and know prudence. How is it, Israel, that you are in the land of your foes, grown old in a foreign land, defiled with the dead, accounted with those destined for the Netherland? You have forsaken the fountain of wisdom had you walked in the way of God, you would have dwelt in enduring peace. Learn where prudence is, where strength, where understanding, 
that you may know also where are strength of days and life, where light of the eyes and peace. Who has found the place of wisdom? Who has entered into her treasuries? The one who knows all things knows her. He has probed her by knowledge, the one who has established the earth for all time and filled it with four-footed beasts. He who dismisses the light and it departs calls it, and it obeys him trembling, before whom the stars at their posts shine and rejoice. When he calls them, they answer, here we are, shining with joy for their maker. Such is our God. No other is to be compared to him. He has traced out the whole way of understanding and has given her to Jacob, his servant, to Israel, his beloved son. Since then she has appeared on earth and moved among people. She is the book of the precepts of God, the law that endures forever. All who cling to her will live, but those will die who forsake her. Turn, O Jacob, and receive her. Walk by her light towards splendor. Give not your glory to another, your privileges to an alien race. Blessed are we, O Israel, for what pleases God is known to us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts 
Let us pray. O oh God, who constantly increased through the church by your call to the nations, graciously grant to those you wash clean in the waters of baptism, the firmness of your unfailing protection, through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel lived in their land, they defiled it by their conduct and deeds. Therefore, I poured out my fury upon them because of the blood that they poured out on the ground and because they defiled it with idols. I scattered them among the nations dispersing them over foreign lands. According to their conduct and deeds, I judged them. But when they came among the nations, wherever they came, they served to profane my holy name, because it was said of them, they are the people of the Lord, yet they had to leave their land. So I have relented because of my holy name, which the house of Israel profaned, among the nations where they came. Therefore, say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, Not for your sakes do I act, house of Israel, but for the sake of my holy name, which you profaned among the nations to which you came. I will prove the holiness of my great name, profaned among the nations, in those midst you have profaned it, Thus the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among among the nations, gather you from all foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols, I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and give you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Love. 
loving and forgiving are you. God forgives us all our sins, healing those who live in pain, saving us from final death. God fills us with goodness and love. Loving and forgiving are you. Slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving are you. Good and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger, rich in love. God remembers not our sins, forgiving and loving. Loving and forgiving are you, O Lord. Slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving are you. As heaven soars above the earth, so great the love of God for us. As far as east is from the west, the Lord takes our sins from us. Loving and forgiving are you, O Lord, slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and Let us pray. O oh God of unchanging power and eternal light, look with favor on the wondrous mystery of the whole church and serenely accomplish the work of human salvation, which you plan from all eternity. May the whole world know and see that what was cast down is raised up, what has become old is new, and all things are restored to integrity through Christ, just as by him they came into being. For this reigns forever and ever. Amen. Gloria, Gloria, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to peace to people of good will. Gloria, Gloria, glory to God in the highest and on earth to people, to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks, thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Gloria, Gloria, glory to God in the highest and on earth. People to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only be 
the bride and of the Father. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Gloria, gloria, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people, to people of goodwill. God, who makes this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, so have been your church the spirit of adoption, that renewed in body and mind, we may render your undivided service to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as being dead to sin and living to God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Lord, to you, o Lord. Thank you. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James and Salome, bought spices so they might go and anoint him. Very early when the sun had risen, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. He said to them, do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him, but go and tell his disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 
gift stores started selling the scriptural symbol for peace, an olive branch. But if you remember, God sent the dove with an olive branch in its beak to Noah to signify that the flood and God's anger had abated. But for Easter, the olive branch sales were Eggs extended. <laughs> I executed that joke exactly as it was explained to me, and I got the exasperated expressions I expected. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll show myself to the exit. Now let's get back to scripture. In all four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, right? Those at the tomb on Easter morning were told, go tell the disciples to go to Galilee, and there they would meet the risen Lord. But only in Mark's Gospel that we heard tonight does he add two words to that directive, go tell the disciples and Peter. Well, some scripture scholars snub its significance, saying Simon Peter seems to be Mark's main source. So then, with that logic, it would be Peter himself who added his own name. But such self-importance seems so inconsistent with Peter, who we remember on Holy Thursday, after he denied our Lord, he sobbed so sorrowfully and scandalously denying Jesus three times. I concur, though, with the countless Christians who consider it classic Christ, who gave a special shout out to someone that he knew truly felt shut out because of his shortcomings. A shout out, though, that Jesus offers to every person, to all of us, by name, in many different various ways. And how does he do this? Primarily through his church and also her sacraments. For instance, in order to validly baptize a person, I must say the person's name. I've been Bernadette, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son, etc. And then with our baptismal or confirmation name, we are graced in a very unique variety of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Brides and grooms, they call each other out by name as they pledge themselves to each other and to God in holy matrimony. I, Joseph, take you, Eileen, to be my wife, etc. And at my ordination, I was called by name to signify that God wanted my particular talent for service in the priesthood. Whether those gifts, like telling jaded jokes, pathetic puns, and an amazing amount of alliterations. <laughs> Our baptismal name 
is inserted into our funeral prayers. And God has called each one of us to be here today. For some, God's voice is so ingrained in us that they no longer hear it. It's like a clock. If you have a clock in your home and it chimes the hour, after a while, you don't even notice it. And for those of us who live here near this train station, we don't even hear that train whistle go by. They innately worship here weekly or even daily. Some heard God's call in a letter that I sent out during late Advent, inviting people to partake, to come home in the wonderful liturgies that the church provides for us. Perhaps they hear it in the media when they speak about Holy Week. Sometimes, though, God even uses a dose of guilt, may be the prodding of a parent or a child, a spouse or a friend that gets us here. For God will use all available means to get all his children around his table to celebrate the great gift of the Eucharist. Because our existential God knows exactly what we need to excel in being exceptional Christians, for agnostics will never experience the extraordinary help that God exclusively provides through his church and her sacraments. And before I get egg on my face, I'll end this excruciating exercise. <laughs> Happy Easter. Dearly beloved, let us humbly invoke upon the font the grace of God, our Almighty Father, that those who from it are born anew may be numbered among the children of adoption in Christ. Amen. Uh -huh. 
God, who by invisible power accomplished a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water, your creation, to show forth the grace of baptism. O、oh、God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters, so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself. The power to sanctify. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea, so the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O God. Whose son, baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side along with blood, and after his resurrection, commanded his disciples, "Go forth, teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit."、Oh. 
Look now, we pray upon the face of your church and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water, received by the Holy Spirit, the grace of your only begotten Son, so that the human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of all may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children, the water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, we pray, come down through the Son into the fullness of this font, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works. I do. And all his empty show. I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Ever 
Echoes and lakes sing glory to God. Praise all you ponds and bogs. Rich with the life that God creates. Now let your song be heard. Oh, blessed be God forever. Blessed be God forever. of life, dancing with joy from peak to valley, laughing and clear your song, oh blessed be God forever, blessed be God forever, rains of water bless the Lord, give him glory and with joy from peak to valley, laughing and clear your song. Oh, blessed be God forever, blessed be God Filled with joy at Christ's resurrection, we trust that God, who raised his son from the dead, will provide for all of our needs. May May all pastors and missionaries faithfully lead and lovingly serve the flock entrusted to their care by Christ, the Good Shepherd, we pray. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. May the struggles and sorrows of the sick and dying, of those serving in the military, and of those in any need, be turned into everlasting Easter joy, we pray. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. May the intentions in our parish prayer book, those kept in the silence of our hearts, and those offered for world peace rise up to God's throne, we pray. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. May more people from our parish offer themselves for ministry as priests, deacons, religious brothers and sisters, and active lay ministers, we pray. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. May all who celebrate the Easter sacraments be a source of blessing and joy. May many others follow in their path, we pray. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. May those buried from the Church of St. Mary since its inception in 1908, Maureen Tarantino and all who died recently, and Carol Froilich and Michael A. Weber, and all the faithful departed share in Christ's victory over sin and death, we pray. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. God of grace and glory, as we celebrate the great mystery of our redemption, hear the prayers we joyfully offer. To Christ our Lord. You can extinguish your candle and please put it on the floor, not on the padded uh, seats. We don't want to replace them. <laughs> Thank you. The first collection is for your Easter gift to St. Mary Church. The second collection is for your regular weekly offering.
for iniquities cleanse me from all of my sins. So now they've got you a few days. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Except we ask all the Lord the prayers of the people with the sacrificial offerings, that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries, made by the working of your power, 
bring us to the healing of eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to proclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all, the Lord do yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome a paschal joy, every land, every people is built in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your praise as they acclaim Holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the funds of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, Lord, all the newly baptized, who through baptism and confirmation have today been joined to your family 
that they may follow Christ through Son with a generous heart and a willing spirit. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph of Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord. We pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the rest of hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant of peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof. In this poor Lord, for us to be
Where two or three are gathered in my name. There I am in the midst of them. There will be Hallelujah. 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 Give the glory and the honor to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the glory and the honor to the Lord. I am the vine and you, you are the branches. Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those who have nourished by this possible sacrament one in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to thank some people because I don't have any notes in front of me. I'm sure I'll forget someone, and I should get egg on my face and head and everything else after that. 
Well, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank, first of all, Colonel Tobin, because he gave me the honor of continuing to, uh, the privilege of being able to serve you as pastor of this wonderful parish. So on behalf of myself, uh, we wish you all the happy Easter. On behalf of our deacon, Deacon Jim and Deacon Ray, who really helped so much in so many things and make it possible for me to continue to be here. And also want to thank the readers tonight. They did a great job, Ellen, Tony, Tom, and Joy. And also, I know the cancer designer, some of you guys, I know first of all, Joey Demand, our director of sacred music. Thank you. Thank you. Now, some of the people have been out in cancer, especially the choir, they're great and all that, and they could be in Carnegie Hall or somewhere like that, I'm sure. But Anthony, I know Colleen, I know Fran did a role, I know Edwin did a role, I know Rhonda yesterday, you did a role, of course, June's always here, Lorraine, I know. Uh, some of the others, who lost the cancer? Oh, Judy, okay, right there. <laughs> now, what's observed, you have to have me see you, because I won't know who you are. I know you by name, but I won't know if I didn't see you. Michael has been here. How many years have you been serving with us now? 22, 22 right? Wow. So, I think, Vivian, you might be the youngest, so you have about another 21 years left to realize that, right? And of course, Kaylin, and of course, so we have Sophia here, Diana's back too, Christian over there. We have Frankie and Cormac, and we have Haley. Anthony's back from college and all that, and Nicholas is going to be going away to college next year, so we have to bring him back when he uh, is brought with us. Uh, Megan back there, Natalie, and uh, Ethan. And who else is back there? I can't say. I got all of you? Okay. And the, the declaration, John Celio. I don't know, is John here? There he is in the back there, and Linda Bradino who really coordinate everything. <laughs> you have to look at the, uh, we have a Lady of the Rosary in the North Texas, an icon, and John and Linda put that together, and it's beautiful there. It kind of brings emphasis to our Blessed Mother, and she's our patron, too. Andrew Rick, uh, here, McCoy, who I know is in charge of our spiritual life, over there. Larry Boland did all of the lighting for the three days. Debbie Moran has been back there being my right hand, left hand. Uh, first one. And Joe Zai has been here since he was a high school student, and he kind of coordinates all of the liturgical services here. So, Joe, we appreciate you. We don't know what we would do without you, too. So. <laughs> Joe, Joe will have his uh, master's degree in about a month or so, and then he'll get his doctorate in counseling. So, if you ever want to get on the couch, go and see him. <laughs> he'll analyze you. And uh, also today, I see Deborah and uh, Angela Mania are here, and they donated the little holy waters from the funeral home. So we invite you to take home some blessed water, but I'm going to tell you, you can exactly take one <laughs> until after tomorrow, then, you know, you can do whatever you want and all that stuff, because we want everybody to be able to get some. So if I didn't forget anyone, Mayor Cooper, Mayor Cooper, Mayor Maxima Cooper, but happy to, to all of you. We love you all, and you're the greatest people to work for and to work with. So God bless you. Happy Easter. <laughs> the Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and the compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may He who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten son, endow you with the pride of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast, come with Christ's help, exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the message is ended. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have a great day tomorrow. You too, Father. Thank you. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Our
Yeah. 